Hello, Neil Tappen here from Golf Monthly. Uh, welcome to California, um, sunny or not so sunny California. Um, I, you join me at the Kingdom. Now, this is uh, where TaylorMade have their uh, testing facility. This is where they do their product testing and also where they fit out their tour players. And I'm here today because Rory McIlroy is making a visit to this place. So he's just been playing up the road at Pebble Beach um, in the Pro-Am there. And now he's going to play Riviera this week. And on uh, in between, he's coming here to meet all the tailor-made staff, to have a tour of the R&D department, and also to do a little bit of equipment testing. He's also going to get the chance to speak to uh, yours truly in that studio in there. We're creating a studio in there. Roy's gonna be on our open issue cover this year, and we have been given some time with him through TaylorMade to produce a whole host of uh, uh, different bits of content where we're gonna be speaking to him about all sorts of different things, including a what's in the bag video that you'll be able to see on our channels very soon. Uh, you can, see, if you look behind me, that is the TaylorMade head office. That's where their R and D department is based. Um, and we thought, well, why don't we bring you along with us? Why don't we show you around? Why don't we um, give you a kind of view as to what Rory is doing while he's here today? Okay, so Rory's arrived, he's here, he's working on his putter, he's in the putter lab at the moment, going on some, uh, making some tweaks to his putter setup, I think, at the moment. Um, those are his golf clubs you can see just over my shoulder there. Um, and he's gonna come out, and interestingly, what I've just heard is that what he's doing this, uh, today, here, is kind of trying to come up with some setups for fairway woods that work for Augusta. So he's thinking about possibly putting a five wood in the bag, also, alternatively, a two iron in the bag. Just, just to be clear, it's the 12th of February today, so it goes to show just how much in advance these guys are thinking about and are working on their games ahead of the biggest tournaments in golf. Okay, so Roy's finished his product testing, he's now gone in for a bit of lunch, and while he does that, these guys are building a bit of a cordon around an area on the range, and they're gonna get Roy to hit some wedge shots from about that position there. It's 91 yards, if he holds it, the, um, the, uh, empl all the employees here at TaylorMade will get given um, will get given the day off on Rory's birthday. So um, as uh, one of the guys said to Rory, this is the most important thing you'll do today. And uh, I think he's starting to feel a bit of pressure on his shoulders. Is when you haul it out, we're going to have in 2018 the official Rory McElroy Day, which means everybody at some point in time this spring, and I promise we'll find the right date because I'm pretty certain Rory's going to make this shot. <laughs> a lot of pressure. There's a lot of pressure on him, but even if he doesn't, we're still going to have a Rory McElroy Day, so regardless okay. of <laughs> And everybody is going to get a day off. Right, so Rory's done his bit up at the Kingdom and now it's time for him to head into this building here and go into, uh, this is where the offices are at TaylorMade, so this is where they have all their R&D and he's gonna go and get a tour.
Right, so that's the end of, uh, of our day here at the TaylorMade headquarters. What a day it's been. Uh, really fascinating interview with Rory, both talking about his game, but also about his golf clubs. Keep your eyes peeled for those videos on our channel. Um, if you've liked what you've seen, please do give us a thumbs up. One thing I'll say about having just finished the R&D part of this, um, the tour, it was Rory's idea actually to come and to do the R&D tour. He wanted to see the process that goes into making the golf clubs, the golf balls that he uses out on tour. And he wanted to come and see it for himself and he wanted to thank the people that do it. Uh, I mean, he's such a nice guy, and that's one thing that really came across. He wanted to sort of shake the hands of all the people that are involved in the process. And it's fascinating to see um, all the hard work that goes into ensuring that the performance that Taylor made are able to pack into their products is as good as they can possibly make it. Um, if you've liked the video, please give us a thumbs up, um, leave comments below. Uh, but for now, from the Taylor Made headquarters, it's goodbye.